G'day, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install our Superstopper Maxi Service Penetration System. Now these things are perfect where you have mixed service penetrations like this for rectification, where you've already got the services in place, or you can use them on new buildings where you're looking to add uh, future services later on in the build. In today's video, I'll be using a plasterboard wall mock-up, but if you need to look at the other wall systems, make sure you check out the technical manual at www.tfire.com.au. The Superstopper is a premium range of service penetration systems. And these ones have a hinge so you can fit them easily around existing services. They also are aligned with this intumescent material that swells when it's reacting to a fire. Now these products also come fit with these foam plugs and that's the most important part of the Superstopper system. These foam plugs give you the acoustics, the smoke, the air leakage, and also allow for building movement and seismic movements as well. These foam plugs are impregnated with that same intumescent. So when there are any gaps around the services, this will actually expand to plug the gaps during a fire to stop the fire spreading through the service penetration. The other component that's supplied with the Super Sopper is these maxi flanges. These allow for retrofit so you can bolt these into walls, into floors and also into fire rated ceilings. So let's get started. When you're dealing with a plasterboard wall or a wall that has a cavity, most of the time you're going to need to follow the wall manufacturer's details to frame and line out the aperture. So that's what we've done here. We've used strips of plasterboard and stud to frame around the penetration. That way we're not going to allow fire to get into the cavity of the wall. Now once we get started, the first thing you're going to need to do is get your foam plugs and set these aside for later. Make sure you don't lose them. When you've got services that are already in place, all you need to do is open up the super stopper and then retrofit around and slide it into the wall. Before we put our flanges on, we are going to need to put some sealant in the annular gaps around the super stopper. Now we can go up to a maximum of 20 mil gaps, so what I'm going to do is take a little bit of uh, fire added plasterboard and use that to chock up the box and centre it in the wall. Now we're ready to seal the gaps with Fireflex sealant. The best way to install Fireflex is to use something like a backing rod. This is optional, but it does really help control the wastage and make sure you get the perfect amount of sealant in and around the super stopper. Once you've done the sealant, you can now fit the mounting flanges. Now these come supplied to be a friction fit around the box. There are steel rivets in each corner, except for the fourth, which has a small nut and bolt. So you can undo that to retrofit it around existing services. With your flange installed and the super stopper positioned centrally to the wall, we can now fix it in place. The screw fixings you're going to need to use depend on the wall type. So if it's plasterboard, we're going to use 8 gauge by 50 mil plasterboard screws. But if you've got a different wall or floor type, make sure you check the technical manual available at tfire.com.au for the correct fixings for your application. Now the flanges that we supply come with a whole range of additional fixing holes in case you hit something like Rio. So you don't need to use every single hole on the flange, just every second one is plenty. And if you're installing into walls and floors, you don't actually need to fix the flange to the Superstopper casing. It's a tight friction fit. 
You can add them if you're worried, but it shouldn't be required. The goal when it comes to installing the foam is to make sure that you cannot see daylight through the super stopper once it's installed on both sides. The best way to cut it is to use a serrated edge, like a hacksaw blade works really well. And we're just gonna cut the profile to suit the surfaces, friction fit it in place, and then check for any gaps. Now once you've done the foam on both sides, if you can still see daylight, you can use the offcuts of the foam to plug any gaps, or you could even use something like our Fireflex or Firepex HP sealants. Today I'm just going to use the offcuts that we've got on hand. Now once you've done the foam and the steel angles on both sides, it's time now to look at T-Wrap. So the installation as it is will maintain the integrity of the fire barrier, but if you need to include the insulation reading, which is about heat transfer coming through the wall, through the services, then we will need to wrap this penetration with a service wrap called T-Wrap, which I'll show you now. So we've cut our T-wrap to length to wrap around the entire penetration, including the super stopper, and we're gonna have a 50 millimeter overlap. Once you've cut the T-wrap, always make sure to tape up the ends to make sure the core stays inside. And once we're installing it, we can use foil tape to help aid the installation before I get the stainless steel cable ties. Once you've installed the T-wrap to the correct length, the length is dependent on the type of services in the FRL, so make sure you check the manual to get the right length of T-Wrap. All you need are stainless steel cable ties, 50 mil from each end of the wrap and one in the middle. Now once we're done with the actual installation, we do need to look at paperwork and labelling. So there are two different stickers you can look at putting next to this service penetration. One of them actually comes in the box with the super stopper, and it is a sticker with instructions for the future owners of the building about how to run additional services. One of the main benefits of the super stopper is you can just undo the wrap and run new services through the penetration without much hassle. So this is a great way to future-proof the penetration system. The other sticker, is a penetration label. These are used for building documentation and controls and annual inspections, so that in the future, someone can come past and read off what's been installed by who and what reports and double check that it hasn't been disturbed. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you do check out the other Super Stopper mini slab mount and cast in videos, as well as the technical literature that's available on t5.com.au. Make sure to follow us for more and I'll see you next time.